friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am so incredibly excited about this video. I spent a long time in Trader Joe's combing the aisles looking for anything fall related. Pumpkin, apple cider, anything and everything that classifies itself as fall. And most importantly, anything that is a delicious fall food item that is WW friendly. I am gonna be showing you a couple of non-food items, but boy, did I find a lot of items at Trader Joe's that are pumpkin flavored, apple cider flavored, cinnamon flavored, that are WW friendly, and I cannot wait to share them with you. So if you wanna know what to pick up on your next trip to Trader Joe's for the upcoming fall season, then all you have to do is keep watching. So here is my WW fall haul from Trader Joe's. We have mainly food items, but I did pick up a couple of non-food items that I wanted to show you that are perfect for the season. So let's get into our haul. The first fall treat at Trader Joe's is this Trader Joe's caramel apple flavored granola. This is sweet and tart, crunchy clusters with apple slices, peanuts, and pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Uh, yes, please. Yum. So as you know, granola is high in points. So on the screen, I am going to put the points for a serving and then I'm going to drop it down a little bit and get it a little more point friendly and give you that as well. That way you can work all of these things into your points. So this would be really good on top of some yogurt, the Dan Enlightened Fit Caramel Apple Yogurt, the vanilla, even on the pumpkin. So I picked this up. I'm really excited to have this. Really excited. Of course, Trader Joe's has canned pumpkin, and really, for organic canned pumpkin, it's the best price you're going to find, $1.99. And as you can see, I am putting the prices on the screen here as well, but a buck ninety-nine for organic pumpkin is a great deal, so stock up at Trader Joe's because it generally goes pretty fast. Another new thing that I found perfect for baking for fall and for the holidays is this Trader Joe's vanilla bean paste. So this is Madagascar vanilla beans in a paste formula. Now vanilla beans to buy on their own are incredibly expensive. You can't beat five bucks for a jar of the paste. You can add this to anything that you would generally add vanilla extract to. So I'm really excited about this. I have a lot of baking coming your way for fall and the holidays. This is going to come in extremely handy. I love biscotti, so I was thrilled when I scanned this and realized that this is pretty low points when you cut down the serving size. So this is the Trader Joe's pumpkin biscotti made with pumpkin puree and spices. This is what it looks like. Yum, you guys. I am so excited about this. How delicious would this be with a nice cup of hot pumpkin coffee? Ugh. Can't wait. So definitely take a look at the sweet things at Trader Joe's. You can still work them into your plan. Just cut down your serving size. And this is a prime example of that. So excited to find this. Now this item is going to be a little bit more point heavy, but I mainly bought this for Thanksgiving. I just want to have it. I thought it would be really cute to put one of these little pieces of Belgian chocolates on everyone's plate at Thanksgiving. And these go so fast at Trader Joe's. I had to pick them up. This is the premium harvest collection, Belgium chocolates. Now the points, again, you can make this work into your plan. It's just going to be a little bit more point heavy. So that I'll probably just say for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Next is the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. You guys, yum. So what I was thinking with this is this isn't too bad in points, honestly, but you could put this on a Thomas Light English muffin. Uh, my first thought was, what about the Western bagel pumpkin baguettes? They're only one smart point. If you put a little bit of this cream cheese on it, you could have a two to three smart point bagel with pumpkin cream cheese. Doesn't that sound so good. So I picked this up. If you want to order the Western bagels, my code is here on the screen and there is a link down in the description box. Pick up the pumpkin baguettes. They're only one smart point. And again, you can add this delicious pumpkin cream cheese on top of that and make it a really low smart point part of your breakfast or a snack. Also, you could put this on to ingredient dough. I mean, there are so many things you can do with this cream cheese. So really excited to have that. Also, I thought these were seriously the cutest things I've ever seen. These are the Trader Joe's Fall Leaf tor Corn Tortilla Chips. 
Look at, they are shaped like leaves. Red, orange, and yellow. Okay, how cute is that? So I primarily got this to keep for Thanksgiving because it will last, the expiration date isn't actually until January, but I got this mainly for Thanksgiving, but these are not bad in points. Pair them with some zero point salsa and you have a great little snack. And uh, I couldn't pass up how adorable these are. And on the other chip side of the fence, uh, hello, pumpkin tortilla chips crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. So this also would be good with salsa. And I was thinking these would be really good by themselves because they do have the cinnamon and pumpkin and nutmeg already on them. Again, you can save these for Thanksgiving. Your expiration date isn't until January of 20. So definitely a good thing to save for Thanksgiving or a day that you use your weeklies but I'm really excited about these. You get a little less for the smart points, but nonetheless, it is a great crunchy pumpkin fall snack. So a couple of non-food things that I got at Trader Joe's is I was excited to see this. This is the Honey Crisp Apple Mini Scented Diffuser. So it says this mini diffuser brings or the orchard experience to your living space with the bright aroma reminiscent of farm fresh apples. So it has this dowel that goes into the Honeycrisp apple diffuser and it should just radiate this fall delicious smell in your home. This was a great deal. So I picked this up. I think it'd be great in a small space. Uh, just if you don't want to be lighting a candle or if you want to just kind of set it and forget it, it would be a great thing for a bathroom or a bedroom. So really excited about that. And then I could not pass up Trader Joe's Vanilla Pumpkin Candle. This smells so, uh, so delicious. I had this last year. We loved this candle. And the price is great. And it's an all-natural, delicious candle. I'm telling you, you guys, it smells amazing. They also had the Honey Crisp Apple in a candle as well. So if you'd rather pick up that Honey Apple, you can do that in a candle. So love 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 so those are my two non-food things from trader joe's so let's get back into some food so i found this and again this is going to be a little bit more point heavy but this is the trader joe's pumpkin butter and this has 40 calories in one tablespoon but it has nine grams of sugar so it is going to be a little bit higher in points but you can cut the serving size in half and again how good would this be on a western bagel pumpkin baguette a thomas light english muffin how good would this be on there and you don't need a lot just a little bit just like you would put butter on you could use this pumpkin butter so i had to pick it up it sounds amazing and I think I'm going to come up with some sort of baked item with it as well. So they also had a cinnamon roll butter or a cinnamon roll spread. That sounded really good too, but tis the season for pumpkin. So I grabbed the pumpkin butter. Next item is food, but not for us. So this is a new product at Trader Joe's. This is the grain-free turkey and pumpkin jerky for dogs. This was a great price, $3.99. It has excellent, excellent ingredients. There really is nothing in it that you shouldn't give to your dogs. And it's great if your dogs are grain-free like mine. So turkey, pumpkin, dried skim milk, dried cultured skim milk, salt, the pres and a couple of preservatives. That's it. So not bad for a dog treat and $3.99 can't beat it. So I'm excited to have these. They're pretty large sized sticks. You could even break these in pieces for your dogs and not just give them a whole one and make these last a little bit longer, but excited to have these for my dogs, especially because they're grain free. Next up are the Trader Joe's pumpkin O's. So this is similar to Cheerios, but they are pumpkin and these are so Delicious, you guys, so good. Low fat, vegan, and gluten-free, and they also contain 20 grams of whole grains. So here is your nutritional facts. Of course, the points are here on the screen, and this is for one cup, and there's your ingredients if you were curious as well. So I'm thinking, rather than having this as a cereal, because cereal just doesn't fill me up, 
I thought this would be really good on yogurt. The light and fit pumpkin yogurt with pumpkin O's. You could literally have zero or one smart point of these and add that needed crunch to your yogurt. So excited to have these. I know my husband's going to love them as well. He will probably eat these as cereal and he better not eat them all because I wanna try them on some yogurt. Next, I was excited that they had delicata squash. This is literally my very favorite thing about fall. Hands down, 99 cents a piece, delicious, easy to prepare. You do not peel the skin. So you actually eat the skin of this squash. It becomes nice and soft when you cook it. It is so good, you guys. You can cook it in your air fryer, roast it in your oven. Stay tuned, my friends, because you are going to be seeing a lot of recipes using delicata squash because we love it zero smart points hallelujah a zero smart point item so definitely check out trader joe's for delicata squash and you know i love kombucha and this is a limited edition gt's this is one of my favorite brands of kombucha this is the living in gratitude fall edition and this has apple turmeric carrot and spices and i actually remember this from last year it is incredibly good i Love it. And here are your nutrition facts. I do count points on kombucha. I know a lot of people don't, but I generally just save my kombucha for the day that I use my weeklies and I don't track that day. So that's where I can kind of splurge on beverages with points. I generally don't like to spend my points on drinks, but kombucha is one of the exceptions. So if you like kombucha, you like those fall flavors, this is fantastic. Then into the freezer section we go and look at this you guys. I was like, huh, interesting. And then when I scanned it, it is only two smart points for one sixth of the pizza crust. So you could eat all of this pizza crust for 12 points. And then depending on your toppings, you literally could have an entire pizza for the 15 point mark if you added some cheese and a little bit of meat. So Love that idea. I did hear that this pizza crust is really good with pesto. So if you're a pesto fan, which I am, I was thinking pesto and some of the Trader Joe's organic mozzarella. And again, you could have a whole pizza for about 15 smart points. So this crust is made with butternut squash, corn flour, olive oil, and a touch of salt. That is it. And I'll flip it around and show you guys the nutritional info. But I could not believe it when I scanned it. I was like, that is amazing. And look at how delicious that looks. So we will definitely be trying this pizza crust. I will report back to you. Very excited. Also in the freezer section, I found this. Another thing I'm excited about. This is the Trader Joe's Riced Cauliflower and Butternut Squash Risotto. So risotto is generally a creamy kind of cheesy dish, generally really high in points. So I was excited when I found this. I didn't scan it in the store, but I flipped it over and 70 calories. It does have a little bit of saturated fat, really not no sugar and no protein. So I wasn't sure of the points, but you can have an entire cup for the smart points. And I thought this would be really, really good paired with some chicken and your chicken is zero and then you can use your points on a delicious side dish so really excited to have this i hope it tastes as good as it sounds and then i couldn't pass these up i couldn't pass them up so these are the trader joe pumpkin waffles now they are a little bit high in points but again cut down your serving size and you can work them into your day i know my husband will love these and my friends here's the thing pumpkin waffle with a little bit of the pumpkin butter or pumpkin waffle with a little bit of the pumpkin cream cheese. Doesn't that sound so good? And again, pair this with some eggs and you have a pretty low point decadent fall flavored breakfast. So excited about these waffles. You do get eight waffles in the box. And the other frozen thing that I found that's new for fall is this butternut squash mac and cheese. I have heard that this is amazing. This is big. You guys look how thick that is. So I feel like this is way larger than the guilt. What is it? Reduced guilt mac and cheese and some of the other frozen mac and cheeses out there. Definitely warranted splitting 
with someone else. But in this cheese or in this mac and cheese, you have mezzi rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree in a blend of gouda, cheddar, and parmesan. Uh, yum. And here are your nutritional facts. So there are two servings per container. So I'll put the points here for one serving and I'll put the points here for the entire container, depending on how much you want to eat. But it sounds really good. And again, Pair this with some chicken and some veggies, zero points, and all you have to count is the mac and cheese. So can't wait to try this as well. Next, I picked up the Trader Joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. You know I love my pancake bakes. I love using my mini waffle maker. So I thought that this would be really fun to incorporate into some breakfast prep for the fall season. So here is your nutritional information. Unfortunately, this mix is not one that you just mix with water. You actually have to add butter and milk and an egg. So the points are going to vary depending on the ingredients that you add to it. But the only thing that would have points is the butter. And if you used, I can't believe it's not butter, it would really not be too bad. And you could make pumpkin pancakes and waffles. I cannot wait for this. You will be seeing this in an upcoming meal prep. And lastly, I was so excited to see these back. These, you guys, are so good. This is the ooh, pumpkin and cranberry crisps. So this is a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheese dips and spreads. Not gonna lie, I like to eat these plain. I think they have amazing flavor. So here are your nutrition facts. So you can have 11 crisps for the points. So again, pare down your serving size and it lowers the smart points. But these are so good. And again, you guys, what about some of this on there? So just a delicious pumpkin flavored treat for fall. So that's everything, my friends, that I picked up at Trader Joe's for fall. I hope you enjoyed seeing the WW friendly things that you can pick up at Trader Joe's. We don't have to cut anything out of our eating plan, which is my favorite part of WW. So head on over to Trader Joe's, pick up some of these fall favorites. Thank you for joining me on this Trader Joe's fall haul. It was so much fun finding these things and I have tried a lot of them and they are outstanding. That pumpkin biscotti, so good. You guys, the pumpkin, everything from Trader Joe's is awesome. So make sure when you head over to Trader Joe's that you write down all of these great things, put them on your list and pick them up for you and your family because you will not be sorry. So incredibly delicious. I plan on doing a holiday edition of Trader Joe's as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. So thank you guys for coming over, sticking around, watching this video. If you're new, I would love it if you would take a moment and hit that little subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss out. Thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know what were your favorite items that I showed you or your must try fall items. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.